Hello, my name is Ben Whirling. I'm a commercial vegetable educator with Michigan State University Extension. Well, there's nothing like a worm to take your customer's mind off the pleasant thoughts they had as they husked that ear of your sweet corn. Well, corn earworm is one of the most common culprits responsible for wormy corn. The goal of our video today is to introduce you to corn earworm biology. Once you understand its biology, you can take action to detect and control this pest. Corn earworm does not reliably survive overwinter north of 40 degrees latitude, or about where Interstate 80 crosses Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. Each year, populations build in the south. These moths can then journey north to the Midwest when south to north airflow develops. This can happen when a low pressure system to the west is bordered by a high pressure system on the east. Weather systems like this are common in late summer, for example, in August. Moths can be picked up and carried northward rapidly, dropping out when warm air cools and it is lifted at a frontal boundary. This often occurs in the area storms are happening. This migration can happen quickly. Moths can move from the Gulf Coast to the Midwest in a matter of days. This means that pressure from corn earworm can literally change from negligible to heavy overnight. Pheromone traps can help you detect these flights to protect your corn. Female moths are attracted to odors from your silking corn. This corn would be a perfect spot to lay eggs. Females prefer to lay eggs on fresh silks like these. They won't lay many eggs on brown silks. This means that the critical time for protecting corn is from emergence of fresh silks to when they become brown and die. Eggs are laid singly on silks. Caterpillars hatch in two to six days and then move down the silk into the husk. They will then feed on kernels at the tips of ears. Once they are in the husk, they are protected from insecticide application. This means that timing is critical for earworm control. Insecticides need to be on silks before eggs hatch. So caterpillars contact it and die before entering the husk. Let's review what we learned together today. First, corn earworm is a migratory pest that blows up to Michigan from southern areas. This means that populations can change from low to very high, literally overnight. Next, the key time period for protecting your corn is from the emergence of green silks to brown silks. Finally, insecticide needs to be on the silks before corn earworm hatches so that the caterpillars contact the product and die before entering the husk. 